Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 28 of the Microsoft Word Tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to create custom themes and style sets for uh, Microsoft Word. So over here what you can do is uh, I have heading applied to this, I applied heading 1 to this and heading 2 to this and I applied normal text to this. So I want to create a theme so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select heading 1 right here and I can add in a color to this, center align this, maybe change the font size over here, change the font uh, type right here like blackout or something else something like uh, the mirror pro right here And I'm also going to uh, add in a background color like this and over here just like in last lesson I'm going to update it out and the heading to I want it center line as well And I want to change the color of it to something else So let's say I'm going to use um, uh, an outline right here uh, of this color and for the main paragraph I'm going to change it to green just like this so now I'm going to update this as well, update uh, normal to max selection. Uh, let me just press Ctrl Z right here because I need to update this as well. Uh, match selection, update heading 2 to match selection and select this, update uh, normal to match selection and there you go. That is how you apply this. Uh, now if you were to go to um, a design right here, you can also apply colors to this. So you, so you have different color uh, themes to it. So let's say I'm going to select the color theme. Uh, of my choice and also maybe add in a background paste color or something like this or so something um, like over here I'm gonna use a very dark uh, grayish background all right there you go so let's say this is something I want to see so what I can simply do is I can see here you can see that the style is actually set over here so I can actually save this out and by default it is actually saved over here into quick styles so I'm just gonna save it as a uh, custom uh, custom 28 for lesson 28 right here and press save just like that and over here in the themes I can also save the theme so all the colors and everything I can actually save it so I can save the current theme over here and you can see that everything is saved so by default it's theme 1 so I'm just gonna press save and that's how the theme actually applies so now I can actually open other documents like the lorem ipsum document right here and you can see that now I have the heading 1 and I'm going to set this to heading 2 and I'm going to set this to something like normal right here. And over here in the design you can see that uh, it's actually here. Uh, now uh, what I can do is I can go over here at the bottom, I can actually go over here and then uh, what I can do is I can actually open up uh, a style. So this is built in, this is custom as you can see and you can actually select this out uh, just like that um, and you can see that the one that we applied actually is here now since the theme, color theme is not being applied I can go over here and then you can see that this is the custom theme I have and once I select this you can see the same um, color colors are actually applied right there so I can just select this and you can see that that color has been applied just like that I'm just gonna remove the watermark over here so I'm gonna remove the watermark and you can see that the color is there all right so you can see everything is there and now I'm going to add in this color just like that so you can see that I can actually have a pretty similar effect uh, just by selecting the themes just by saving the themes and then saving the theme styles to get the design right across all of the pages just like that so that's how you can create custom themes and style sets inside of Microsoft Word hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe